The Umbrella Corporation, creator of the spreading T-virus, has practically collapsed, and no cases involving BOWs have been reported since the Raccoon City incident. According to information we recently retrieved, a former Umbrella researcher contacted a man by the name of Javier Hidalgo in a small South American country. Javier, an ex-drug lord with political ties, disappeared shortly thereafter. Javier Hidalgo, a man equally famous for his extravagant lifestyle. Following his sudden disappearance, we found out that he had attempted to approach Umbrella. Just what are you up to now, Javier? So, you think B.O.W.'s actually exist? Oh, wait. You said you faced him before, huh? This is my first mission with Krauser. He's a soldier with the U.S. Special Operations Command, and has quite the resume of accomplishments in the field. But to him, after all he's been through, B.O.W.'s, cryptid, they're all the same. Our guide is in a village up ahead. He'll take us to Empire where Javier is hiding out. Come on, let's move. We did it! Leon, what the hell is going on here? Have you fought these things before? Look, fill me in. I need to know what you've been through. Everything. Old Krauser everything about the Raccoon City incident. He just listened, quietly. But the situation in the village was different from Raccoon. There were controlled BOWs amongst the rest. What happened there? We made our way upstream towards Javier Hidalgo's mansion, the man who could hold the key to uncovering this mystery. <sighs> You don't have to worry. You're fine. We're not going to hurt We're you. We're the ones who saved you. You all right? So, you're the girl, huh? The one from Javier's mansion? The people in the village. What happened to them? They're all dead. We're here on a mission looking for an American who had contacted Javier about a virus. We need to find Javier, and we were hoping you could take us to Amparo.
So that's Javier's. He is. I escaped through there. Javier! Manuela. All of these I've done for you. You need only to follow my directions for 15 years. This will prevent the transformation. But please, my dear, you must be patient. What the... The man who gave us the Veronica virus told me it would work. The Veronica virus? <coughs> These Americans cannot save you, my dear. Only I, your father, can help you now. The Veronica virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body, which had been infected, and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed. I believe Manuela is infected with the Veronica virus, which means it could spread throughout this land. But why would Javier infect his own daughter? And how can she maintain her human form? How does she sustain it without transforming into something horrific, like Steve? Why did Javier infect you with the Veronica virus? And what did he mean by too late? You know, I shouldn't even be standing here, given the circumstances. The virus. I was injected with it, as part of my treatment. Treatment? It wasn't my fault. My doctor diagnosed me with the same disease my mother had. He told me there was no chance of recovery. And all we could find out was that only people living in this area contracted it. It... It killed my mother. But somehow... I... Manuela told us everything she knew. When she was 15, she contracted the same fatal disease that her mother had. The Veronica virus was used as a form of treatment, and consequently she recovered. It must have strengthened her cells. However, the virus can severely damage its host's brain cells and, if incompatible, will take them over. Completely. Even Ashford's researchers were unable to control it. There appears to be no exception to this, outside of Javier's treatment of Manuela. Somehow, he's managed to keep her from turning into a monster. Leon. We should take care of the girl before it gets too late. It's only a matter of time, Leon, before she becomes a threat. Javier knows something. He's been able to prevent Manuela from transforming. I have to take her with me and find out how. Antivirus weapon protocol number 7600. You're on a special assignment for the president. My mission is to eradicate this virus once and for all. And with your help, I intend to do just that. Well, I am a soldier. One of your orders are from the President. Then I'm on your side. Let's go. Time to kick some ass. These are all human organs.
and girls. Manuela! Her organs must be transplanted regularly. What are you talking about? He helps with the pain, keeping the virus at bay. But that's only for the first 15 years. If you had just let me die, none of this would have ever happened. No. I couldn't just watch you die. In nature, the predators who prey on others only grow stronger and thrive. You crazy, selfish old fool! Considering you brought my daughter back, I will grant your death's meaning. Manuela? From the dark, our great river will watch you as you dream. Manuela, get out of here! Manuela, stop singing! Uh, I'm okay! I don't know why, but if I sing this song, it would attack me. Oh no! Krauser, let's go! Krauser! Okay? It's nothing. Mother? I don't want to live. If it means others have to die. <laughs> I should have done this sooner, Hilda. Stupid Americans. You think you can defeat it, don't you? But you forget that when you look into the depths of the abyss, it swallows you whole. <laughs> we lost Javier. We need some air support. Let's go. What the?
We're losing too much blood. Maybe... Maybe it's for the best. For this way. I will never lose my soul. Manuela. Was it something genetic? Or was she sustained by this land that's so rich with life? The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually until the day it can be destroyed in our bodies, in our souls. <laughs> 